This is a quick tutorial on how to set up an account on Upwork, which is a freelancer app. So get the app open. And as you can see, there are two options, either log in, or if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up. So when clicking on that link, it will take you through to the next page and it asks for your email address. In a lot of other apps, including Fiverr, you can also log in with your Gmail account or even your Facebook account and your email. On Upwork, it really does ask for your email only. So you can go in there and input your work email address, the address that you wanna use with this app. Once you've entered your email address, and of course mine is blurred out, compress the continue with email button. And as you can see just below that, Upwork is an app that really helps you find specialist freelancers. So go ahead and continue with email. It will actually scan your email address to make sure it is a work email address. I've just put my Yahoo email address in here and it will actually ask you if you prefer to use the address associated with your work. I don't want to though, so you can just press continue with email and it will take you through to the next page. To continue with the free account setup, you just need to put your name in there, create a password, also the area that you live, like the country that you live in. And then below that, as you can see, you have to choose whether you are someone looking for employees or freelancers, or if you are someone that is looking to provide freelance services. So as you can see, I've input my details and I've said that I'm looking to hire people. If you want to choose to get some useful emails every now and then, then you can choose that. I don't want to though. You do have to agree to the services of the app and then you can create my account and it's as simple as that. Upwork have actually made a completely new app that specifically is used by clients that are looking for work. So as you can see, there's an option at the bottom that says the open client app. So if you haven't downloaded it already, it will just take you through to the app store to download the specific client app. Or if you do have it already, you can click an open client app and it will take you straight through to the client app where you can then look for freelancers. So if you go into your account, you can see here your profile. This is your company profile, any reports and your other settings. So if you go into the settings, you can change different info here. So my information, including your name and your personal details, that can all be changed in this option. If you scroll down to the bottom of this list, you can actually either create a new account under a different name and email address, or you can close your account here as well. In the settings page, you can also set up your billing methods and this will essentially be credit cards. So you can go to the plus button near the billing methods option and then it will go through and give you the options to set up your card as you usually would with any service provider. You can also, as you can see at the bottom, use PayPal as well. You can also go through to the security settings. So if we come out of billing methods, your password and security options can be changed. You can change your password in here. You can also set up some different options. For example, two-step verification. This will work with some different apps. And for example, have to send you personally a text message every time that you log into the app, as you can see with the text message verification. You can also set up a security question here. I haven't as yet, but if you want to add some extra security, you can do that in this options page. You can also change your notification settings. There are some desktop apps and mobile apps. You can actually change everything within the app and also change the email that it gets sent to, that is any notifications. Also, you can add extra emails here. So for example, if you do have extra work emails, you can actually set them up and then make sure that any notifications that you don't want or do want can be set up here with some tick boxes. So fairly straightforward and easy to do. If we come out of the notification and settings pages, as you can see, this goes back to your main page and that really is setting up an account on Upwork. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.